How did this all happen? One theory is that a body the size of our Earth collided with Uranus a long time ago, radically throwing off its rotation. Until we know for sure, the planet's strange tilt remains one of the great mysteries in the dance of the universe. And Uranus will keep doing the side shuffle the seventh planet from the Sun with the third largest diameter in our solar system. Uranus is very cold and windy. The ice giant is surrounded by 13 faint rings and 27 small moons as it rotates at a nearly 90 degree angle from the plane of its orbit. This unique tilt makes Uranus appear to spin on its side, orbiting the Sun like a rolling ball. The first planet found with the aid of a telescope, Uranus was discovered in 1781 by astronomer William Herschel, although he originally thought it was either a comet or a star. It was two years later that the object was universally accepted as a new planet, in part because of observations by astronomer Johann Alert Bode. William Herschel tried unsuccessfully to name his discovery Georgium Sidus after King George III. Instead, the planet was named for Uranus, the Greek god of the sky, as suggested by Johann Bode. Uranus' environment is not conducive to life as we know it. The temperatures, pressures, and materials that characterize this planet are most likely too extreme and volatile for organisms to adapt to. Size and distance. With a radius of 15,759.2 miles or 25,362 kilometers, Uranus is four times wider than Earth. If Earth was the size of a nickel, Uranus would be about as big as a softball. From an average distance of 1.8 billion miles or 2.9 billion kilometers, Uranus is 19.8 astronomical units away from the Sun. One astronomical unit, abbreviated as AU, is the distance from the Sun to Earth. From this distance, it takes sunlight 2 hours and 40 minutes to travel from the Sun to Uranus. One day on Uranus takes about 17 hours, the time it takes for Uranus to rotate or spin once. And Uranus makes a complete orbit around the Sun, a year in Uranian time in about 84 Earth years or 30,687 Earth days. Uranus is the only planet whose equator is nearly at a right angle to its orbit, with a tilt of 97.77 degrees, possibly the result of a collision with an Earth-sized object long ago. This unique tilt causes the most extreme seasons in the solar system. For nearly a quarter of each Uranian year, the Sun shines directly over each pole, plunging the other half of the planet into a 21-year-long, dark winter. Uranus is also one of just two planets that rotate in the opposite direction than most of the planets, Venus is the other one, from east to west. Uranus has 27 known moons. While most of the satellites orbiting other planets take their names from Greek or Roman mythology, Uranus moons are unique in being named for characters from the works of William Shakespeare and Alexander Pope. All of Uranus' inner moons appear to be roughly half water ice and half rock. The composition of the outer moons remains unknown, but they are likely captured asteroids. Rings Uranus has two sets of rings. The inner system of nine rings consists mostly of narrow, dark gray rings. There are two outer rings, the innermost one is reddish like dusty rings elsewhere in the solar system, and the outer ring is blue like Saturn's E ring. In order of increasing distance from the planet, the rings are called zeta, 6, 5, 4, alpha, beta, eta, gamma, delta, lambda, epsilon, nu, and mu. Some of the larger rings are surrounded by belts of fine dust. Uranus took shape when the rest of the solar system formed about 4.5 billion years ago, when gravity pulled swirling gas and dust in to become this ice giant. Like its neighbor Neptune, Uranus likely formed closer to the Sun and moved to the outer solar system about 4 billion years ago, where it is the seventh planet from the Sun. Structure Uranus is one of two ice giants in the outer solar system, the other is Neptune. Most, 80% or more of the planet's mass is made up of a hot dense fluid of icy materials, water, methane, and ammonia, above a small rocky core. Near the core, it heats up to 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 4,982 degrees Celsius. Uranus is slightly larger in diameter than its neighbor Neptune, yet smaller in mass. It is the second least dense planet, Saturn is the least dense of all. Uranus gets its blue-green color from methane gas in the atmosphere. Sunlight passes through the atmosphere and is reflected back out by Uranus cloud tops. 
methane gas absorbs the red portion of the light, resulting in a blue-green color. Surface As an ice giant, Uranus doesn't have a true surface. The planet is mostly swirling fluids. While a spacecraft would have nowhere to land on Uranus, it wouldn't be able to fly through its atmosphere unscathed either. The extreme pressures and temperatures would destroy a metal spacecraft. Atmosphere Uranus' atmosphere is mostly hydrogen and helium, with a small amount of methane and traces of water and ammonia. The methane gives Uranus its signature blue color. While Voyager 2 saw only a few discrete clouds, a great dark spot, and a small dark spot during its flyby in 1986, more recent observations reveal that Uranus exhibits dynamic clouds as it approaches equinox, including rapidly changing bright features. Uranus' planetary atmosphere, with a minimum temperature of 49 K or 224.2 degrees Celsius makes it even colder than Neptune in some places. Wind speeds can reach up to 560 miles per hour or 900 kilometers per hour on Uranus. Winds are retrograde at the equator, blowing in the reverse direction of the planet's rotation. But closer to the poles, winds shift to a prograde direction, flowing with Uranus' rotation. Magnetosphere Uranus has an unusual, irregularly shaped magnetosphere. Magnetic fields are typically in alignment with a planet's rotation, but Uranus' magnetic field is tipped over, the magnetic axis is tilted nearly 60 degrees from the planet's axis of rotation, and is also offset from the center of the planet by one-third of the planet's radius. Auroras on Uranus are not in line with the poles, like they are on Earth, Jupiter, and Saturn due to the lopsided magnetic field. The magnetosphere tail behind Uranus opposite the Sun extends into space for millions of miles. Its magnetic field lines are twisted by Uranus sideways rotation into a long corkscrew shape. Scientists have always wondered how Uranus got tilted so much that it spins on its side, and now research on the planet's early formation gives us new insight. Four billion years ago, scientists believe a young protoplanet of rock and ice collided with Uranus, causing its extreme tilt. Instead of rotating like a top spinning nearly upright, as Earth does, the planet rolls on its side as it circles the Sun. The research team, led by Durham University, UK, in collaboration with scientists at NASA's Ames Research Center in Silicon Valley, used advanced computing techniques to create the most detailed simulation to date of the suspected impact. A simulation of the most likely Uranus impact scenario that caused today's tilted orbit, according to new, highly detailed simulations. Light gray represents ice materials from Uranus, while dark gray represents rock materials from Uranus. Purple represents ice materials from the impactor, while brown represents rock from the impactor. Light blue represents Uranus' atmosphere. Through more than 50 simulations of impact scenarios using a supercomputer, this research group determined that an object, at least twice the mass of Earth likely impacted the young planet with a grazing blow. The collision was so strong it reshaped the entire planet and pushed it onto its side. But, the collision was likely not strong enough to blast the planet's atmosphere off into space or significantly change its orbit around the Sun. This research was the first of its type to take the planet's atmosphere into account in its simulations of the impact. This helped the scientists better define what that event might have looked like. The impact might have left molten ice and lopsided lumps of rock within the planet, perhaps explaining its tilted and off-center magnetic field. Rock and ice thrown into orbit would have then clumped together to form the rings and moons around Uranus, now in its newly established rotation. But this discovery goes beyond explaining how Uranus became what it is today. It helps us on our search to understand other planets outside our solar system, exoplanets. Uranus is a medium-sized, gaseous planet with a rocky and icy core. Based on findings from the Kepler Space Telescope, the more common type of exoplanet is very similar to Uranus. Learning about this impact helps us understand how similar collisions lead to the formation of other planets, and what this means for their ability to support life. <laughs>